It's Hispanic Heritage Month, a time when we recognize the history and the culture and the achievements of Hispanic and Latino Americans. KCCI's Alyssa Gomez spoke with an attorney in Polk County who is pushing for more representation of Hispanic women in law. We are considered statistically insignificant because there are so few. Eva Morales is an assistant Polk County attorney. A first-generation Latina, she's part of one of the most underrepresented groups in the profession. There wasn't an example of that, um, of someone who, with my background, who looked like me doing that. The American Bar Association says 5.8% of all lawyers are Hispanic. An even smaller percentage are Hispanic women. It's easy when you walk into a space where people don't look like you to start questioning your own capabilities, and that can really slow you down. But now, Eva lets it motivate her. You are in the room because you deserve to be there. Eva recently received two honors from the National Hispanic Bar Association. Its Noticias publication published an article she wrote, and she was one of 17 attorneys in the country chosen for the Latina Leadership Academy. She attended the academy last month. The, the speakers that they were able to bring in were just such good examples of what is achievable and attainable for us. Eva says growing up, characters on the TV show Law & Order inspired her to pursue this career. There was this prosecutor on the show, Alexandra Cabot, and I wanted to be like her. She wore these power suits and she was confident and smart and people listened to her and she commandeered the room. Now Eva is the woman in the power suit. Through mentorship and representation, she hopes to inspire other young Latinas and underrepresented groups to pursue their passions. In Des Moines, Alyssa Gomez, KCCI News, Iowa's News Leader.